Morning. I'm not ready. <laughs> Morning. Morning. You got a big day today. Drink your tea. Good morning. Um, I am aware that I look like an absolute state, but it is the first thing in the morning on a Saturday, um, and I'm just rolling with it. I'm waiting to go to the shower. I've done the shower at the moment. Um, um, we wanted to film today because we're doing a sort of a Christmas Eve shopping day, and we're going to plan to be out all day. I thought we might show you around and show you what we got up to. Anyway, for this morning, um, yeah, we're just getting up. It is nearly 10 o'clock so we've had a nice lie-in just having a cup of tea the pollution is really really bad today um it's actually the worst day of pollution we've had Just picked up three of these for 10 RMB, which is on. about a pound 20. It's, yeah, it's a lot. It smells like tiger bread, it's got like <laughs> a little bit of cheese in and a sausage, but <clears throat> being here for a while, the little sausages aren't really kept cold. You can just pick them off the shelf, so they're usually not that good, but... <laughs> well, so we're basically we're ready, we're walking, we're going to our tea mart, which is oh, um, no. like a... Oh, is it weird? Like all things in Shanghai, it's incredibly sweet. sweet. Oh no. Well, the bread's nice, but <laughs> I don't try that bit. <laughs> Weird. That's one thing you have to get used to here is that a lot of things you think are savoury is actually quite sweet. Um, yeah, we're going to um, this little supermarket slash small place. I'm going to try and get some new contact lenses. So we just went to the local supermarket to get some contact lenses um apparently lisa's prescription here what did he say it wasn't i don't do it or something was oh the translation was they don't do it in china <laughs> yeah so i think like your 0.5 something prescription they don't do here so we're gonna have to get a optician's medical test at the hospital or something to see what the china equivalent is but now we're in a taxi on our way to the bank to deposit the money and then we get some food, real food, not just like this weird bakery stuff. Went to the bank and uh, they don't take cash at this bank. Oh, yeah. So, mm. another wasted trip to the bank, so I have to go again Monday. But it wasn't a wasted trip because we found White Castle. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, yeah. It's an American brand, isn't it? Yeah. We thought, we saw it. Treat ourselves for lunch. We've got the coffee, we've had our lunch, and we're now on the way to Nanjing Road, which is where all the sort of big shops are H&M, Zara and lots of other places and hopefully we'll go find some Christmas presents. Also you can see how bad the pollution is today because look behind me. See that tower's all hazy? That's how bad it is today. Real bad. I 
the worst way of taking a mask off. Scooping up. One balls. thing I notice here as well is if you come to Shanghai, especially like during the autumn, there's hardly any leaves on the road, even though it's like middle of autumn. And all the trees are, you know, the, the leaves are coming off. Like there's the, no rubbish anywhere and there's no leaves yeah, anywhere. And the leaves falling off the trees doesn't really start until end of November into December. Yeah. Let me just show you like the difference between the UK rubbish on the side of the roads compared to here. So yeah, this is like a real busy stretch in Shanghai, just by People's Square, just before you get to Nanjing Road. You can just see how clear the roads are. No rubbish, no trees. Look, there's trees all down here that have been wilting and there's just nothing on the floor. Really impressive. We're almost at Nanjing Road, so we're by People's Square. And one thing that happens on a Saturday, which we're going to show you, is when parents' children haven't found a romantic match at, by a certain age, the parents will come to People's Square, put out a little A4 piece of paper which describes their child, and they try to find a match for them. There's no pictures of these children, that's what they look like. It's just a verbal description, usually like their height and like it. What, well, how much they earn and things yeah, like that. personality and yeah, money's a big factor. So I'll try to get some footage of some of the things here, but it's really busy. So I will show you. matching fair <laughs> I don't even know what you call it um, it's very interesting you're not supposed to film in there but um, I've got a few shots of what it sort of looks like it's really interesting isn't it never seen it's it so busy. busy though like today was absolutely packed like and we've been here on Saturdays a few times mm. we even came on a Saturday during golden week and it wasn't that bad but, no. um, yeah it was absolutely rammed today but you could see from the footage that we couldn't really get through people very quickly We've done now in People's Square. We've now walked all the way to Nanjing Road. So we're gonna go start our Christmas shopping. Yay! <laughs> so first stuff is, I don't, know, I don't know if we can say actually, because it might be my, our parents watching. Yes. Well, we'll, our, well, well, we'll you're we'll gonna see, not you're gonna see anyway. Yeah, first stop's Lego, and then we're gonna go to Pandora. So two brands that we know quite well already. <laughs> Some random shop and it's got loads of Disney stuff. Oh my god, so cool! Wow, so extra. <laughs> I mean, look at this beautiful. I want it all. <laughs> wow, that's like a hug in a jumper. <gasps> I want it all out there, it's not fair. <laughs> this is actually adorable. Okay, this is turning into Christmas shopping, now personal like clothes shopping. <laughs> this is cute, we found another Chippendale section. And it's just trying on a coat. What do you think? I love that, the colours are so nice. Turn around. Give a little spin a Rooney. 
No, I think that's big enough. Outfit number two. <laughs> that shit is so nice. Right, we need to find out what the shop is called. And yeah, because it's so much, so much Disney stuff. If you love Disney, you will love the shop. I don't know if it's anywhere else, if it's just a China brand, but love it. And it's quite good prices, isn't it? Yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah. It's like, I like the stuff that. you would want in Primark, but don't actually get. Yeah, and the quality is really good. And outfit change. <laughs> We've just been to H&M. It's a little uh, crowded, so I'm not going to film too much but yeah it's a little busy um but we've just been to H&M had a little moo moo shiroo in there as our old Adam Hatton would say Gary C and um, we're gonna go where are we gonna go now find a toilet because I'm desperate for a week there. yeah we're gonna go to the bun because we're right at the end of Nanjing Road and we find some souvenir knick-knacky stuff don't we yeah we're finding some uh, some more Christmas presenty things um, and then we might meet up with a couple of our friends later yeah. for dinner. We owe them a meal, don't we? So yeah, we've so we're told gonna to come to Nanjing Road. Oh, the double chin is, is a lot to take in right now. <laughs> so yeah, we'll catch up with them, which will be nice. And then I think that's it, isn't it? It's an update. Our friends are coming now to wherever it is we are, the Bund. Um, we're going to go for some food. Yeah, I think it's like a food cocktail bar or something. So probably going to go there and relax for the evening and watch all the lights come on. Yeah, Which so we're mean? at the bun now, so you can see. Yay, it's so pretty. The lights haven't come on there yet, so yeah, it doesn't so look we'll, quite festive. No, but we'll film that when it comes on because it's so nice. And look, um, it looks like the Birmingham ball behind us. <laughs> Was it at the ball ring? Uh, yeah, <laughs> a bit of home away from home. Um, yeah, well, we'll show you that because it's really nice, and we feel so lucky that we live really close to this and can come and have a. Just go get a drink. So we just finished at our meal. That was really good, it was a bit expensive, more than we thought it was going to be. And now we're at the Bund. So we're going to go for a few more drinks tonight and then we're going to head home. So we finish this vlog off when we get home. But for now, enjoy this little montage of the Bund. Late. It's very late. We well, left it's not late. late. We're back late. <laughs> it is late. It's, it's frozen cold. We didn't leave so the heating on, so we've no, got back it's and it's really cold. Um, but yeah, we've had a lovely day. We after food, we went to this one restaurant by the band, which you saw, and cold. then we went. Good fellas. Yes. And it's it was confusing because like... there's a place next door called The Fellas, which mm. is a rooftop bar, which also does Italian food. But the place we went to was called Good Fellas. But it was. Italian food, it was nice, it was quite expensive yeah, for what it was, like it wasn't... One of those posh places where you pay extra money but don't get a yeah. lot of food. Um, probably just because of where we were, we were in right in the centre of town, so mm. yeah, understandable. But it was really nice, um, I don't think I'd rush to go back there again. No, it was good. But it was We've had a successful day, we've it's got a really good day. new coat each, I've got a shirt, you've got a hoodie. <gasps> which I'm actually wearing now, which I got from... Look, it's so cute! As to get it's from that meters and bond, bond. Way. <laughs> oh goodness no idea um if it is just a china brand I'll, I'll leave it linked below anyway so you can have a look um but if it's international then maybe you can order online i don't know have a look but yeah so we had a very successful day shopping we've done i think about half <laughs> Of our shopping now? Christmas, oh yeah, Christmas shopping, that's yeah, where we went that's out. Yeah. Did about half we, of it. yeah, we did about half of it now. So we've got a few more things to get. We had already prepared to get 
some online i.e amazon or some sort of voucher obviously because we're here and it's difficult to send things home we decided to send a small parcel package home yeah we've got some bite-sized presents haven't we things yeah. that are still the same sort of price that we would spend at home um but are much smaller so we can send them in a shoebox home yeah it's time to go to bed yeah I'm very tired so we're gonna chill out and then go to bed so we're gonna leave the vlog here thank you so much for watching and see our life and what we get up to in China. So lots more fun, exciting things to come. We are doing some Sunday Christmas celebrations soon. Um, we have like a big sort of Christmas day mm. next Saturday. 12 people coming over which in our is small apartment. Fine. So um, yeah, we'll, we'll film as much as we can and upload as much as we can. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye.